Alright, it is VLM here, and it's time for another video. This is going to be my game collection update for Black Friday 2012. Now, um, picked up a lot of stuff here. I spent way, way more than what I originally planned on uh, spending. I spent $300, which, um, for me, that's quite a bit, because, um, you know me, I'm fucking cheap as shit, so, um, well, dang it, $200 of that was on one item, so. But, um, I'll start off with this stuff. All of this that you see right here is from Plane Trade. Plane Trade had a fantastic sale. Um, like, first through fourth gen and N64, and then uh, current gen games were not on sale. They were just a buy two get one that they normally are. They had a buy one get one free sale on PS1, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance games. So, this is what I picked up for those consoles. Alright, first, um, just a whole bunch of filler PS1 games that I didn't have. 45 cents each after a discount, so you can't complain. NBA Live 2002, Madden 2001, NCAA Football 2001, NASCAR Thunder 2003, and NFL Game Day 97 and 2000. So, got those 45 cents each. Whatever. Um, right here, I paid $1.35 after a discount for these next two. I got uh, Delta Force Urban, um, uh, Urban Warfare, sorry, for PS1. Complete and fantastic shape. Uh, never heard of it, but it is a shooter. Um, it's developed by Rebellion, apparently, which developed the uh, Alien vs. Predator game, so, um, I'll give that one a try. And for the GameCube, pick up a game I've been wanting for quite a while, um, MX Superfly. I always see this there, but I never picked it up just because. I don't know, I just, I don't know, like, there's other stuff to buy, but, um, I thought I was 35 for this, not bad, I, I picked it up, whatever. And these next two games here are, um, or they were normally $5, ended up being two twenty five a piece after this now. So first up, I picked up this PS1 long box game, Offworld Interceptor Extreme. Um, I do have a major complaint with this, though, and that is, um, first, the hinge isn't, that great, like it, it falls off. The second, what I didn't realize is that the case, the thing that holds the disc is actually broken. So that kind of sucks. But um, it is complete, so um, so 225 for long box game, not bad. And then um, last one for Game Boy Advance, I decided to pick it up because it was box. Um, that is Sorry Aggravation and Scrabble Junior. Uh, it's actually sealed, but I believe this is a reseal, so. Yeah, it's a pretty bad, like, it looks like a pretty bad job, so I'm pretty sure it's a good deal. And the box is completely, like, it's not completely crushed, but towards the bottom and the top is a little bit crushed. But, um, yeah, happy to get this. Alright, and next up here are the, um, PS2 and Xbox games. They had a fan-fucking-tastic sale on, uh, Xbox and PS2 games. They were buy one, get two free. Um, which, after the 10% discount after that, it makes it like 70% off, which is fucking phenomenal. So, um, these first three games here were priced at a dollar normally, and up being like 30 cents after all the discounts. So, um, this one I was kind of disappointed about, um, NFL Fever 2003 for Xbox. I thought I had an extra Xbox case, that's why I picked this up, but apparently I don't, so I guess I'll be keeping it in this case until I get one, but 30 cents, whatever. Um, Tiger Woods, 2003, no manual, but 30 cents, and then Athens, 2004, which I'll actually give this a try, because I've been wanting to play these, uh, more modern Olympics games, because I'm a big fan of the Olympics, uh, yeah, and I'm not paying whatever to, like, 2008 and 2012 go for, so, got Athens. Alright, next up, um, these games right here, these were... Uh, two bucks a piece normally, and after discount they end up being sixty cents. All right, um, whatever, sixty cents. I'll pick almost almost anything up for sixty cents. I don't have uh, Sega GT two thousand two. I have it um, with uh, just that regular feature, but I don't have it alone, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, Transurf World. Well, yeah, no manual, but sixty cents. I picked it up. I might actually give this a try. Yeah. 
Um, this one I have for GameCube, but um, absolutely love this game, so I had to get for Xbox. Days Mira, Freestyle BMX 2. Um, I want to get the PS2 version as well, so I can have all three. But the PS2 version at Plain Trade, they want $4 for it, which is kind of a lot for a sports game. But this one I'm extremely happy about. Not because it's a great game, but because it's a shitty game, and I've always wanted to play it. That's Gravity Games Bite uh, Street Vert Dirt, I believe. Street Vert Dirt, yeah. Um, not complete, no manual, sadly. But I've been wanting to play this forever because this is known as one of the worst Xbox games. I always wanted to play that. And then this one um, has been there for a while. I never picked it up because it was a great hit, but or a platinum hit, but for 60 cents, whatever. Um, 007 Everything or Nothing. Wait, great shape, actually. 60 cents. Then these PS2 games are also 60 cents. You've got Mark Davis, Pro Bax Challenge. Complete, great shape. Except for the spine, there's like a rip in the plastic on the spine. But uh, Suzuki TT Superbike. Complete. Sky Odyssey. Um, this has also been another one that I've been wanting to pick up, but just never did because it didn't come from manual. It's not an original PS2 case, but 60 cents, whatever. And this one I was extremely happy to get because I've been wanting to play this game. Because I got the second one here for the Xbox. Um, but I never played the series and um, I wanted to play the first one first. So I got Red Faction for 60 cents. Greatest hits. However, um, when I get the sticker off, this is going to be in the like minty fresh shape. So um, it's like the person only played it once and then put it back. So happy about that. These next three games were priced at three dollars, end up being ninety cents a piece after a discount. Um, these aren't really the greatest games actually, but I decided ninety cents, whatever. Fantastic Four. That was for GameCube, but got the Xbox version. You guys have it. X Men, uh, the official game. I might actually try this one out. Yeah. Um, if it's anything like uh, X Men Origin Wolverine, uh, it's gonna be an awesome game. And um, Midnight Club Two. Which I hear good things about this series, however, never played it, so I'll give this one a try. Alright, and last but not least, um, the best one of the bunch here. Um, these first six here were, um, what was it, five bucks a piece. And after discounts, they end up being, I believe, uh, what was it, a dollar fifty, I believe, each. Which is a fantastic deal for these. Um, Alright, so a lot of Xbox here, but um, first up, I got Denma Onimusha, which this is a port of Onimusha 1 to the Xbox, which I've never played the Onimusha game, even though I hear they're absolutely fantastic. So, um, picked up the Xbox version. They had the PS2 version there too, but I decided to get the Xbox version. It is complete. I believe this has more content. That's the reason I got the Xbox version. Um, yeah. Hopefully it's a fantastic game, like I keep on hearing it is. Man, this, these next two games, um, I've been wanting for quite a while, but I just did not want to pay the five dollars that play fun, but for $1.50, alright. Um, Advent Rising, always wanted to play this game, especially after I watched uh, TV and Lush's review of it. Um, he had really good things to say about it, even though, like, it was bashed by critics, if I remember right, um, for like, technical issues, like frame rate issues and stuff like that. Um, and it actually did sell well at all, it, and it was supposed to be a big franchise and it got cancelled, so that kind of sucked, but um, I'll play through this, see how good it is. Then um, this one I'm extremely happy about, because I always regretted not picking this up, because I saw it, um, when I started collecting, uh, was it two and a half years ago now, something like that, um, I went to GameStop and saw this game in the um, like PS2 bin for $3.00. Um, didn't pick it up, and I went home, looked up gameplay, and it looked absolutely fucking fantastic. And I went there like a week later, and it was gone. And I always regretted not picking it up. So I finally picked it up for $1.50 for the Xbox version, but whatever. And that is Alter Echo. I always want to play this fucking game since I've seen that, um, that gameplay footage. It looks really awesome. It's, a, it's sort of like an action adventure beat em up, but like every single time you attack, you get like points um, for combos and stuff like that, like in Tony Hawk. Um, yeah, it seems really interesting. I can't wait to play that. Alright, um, and next, got Time Splitters 2. Um, one of my favorite games of all time. I've said this before. Um, absolutely love the series. 
Please right shape. What's really weird about this though is that I have all three times for these games, but I have each one for a different console. Like uh, um, yeah, like here's Time Splitters one for PS2, then Time Splitters Feature Perfect for GameCube, and now I have Time Splitters two for Xbox. So um, I do plan on getting them all for uh, um, all for PS2, and I do plan on getting Feature Perfect for Xbox and Time Plan on getting two for Thank you, eventually, because that is actually the original console I played two on. But um, yeah, got that. And this one I was extremely happy about. I um, always see this, but I never pick it up because stores want a little more than what I'm willing to pay. Like usually stores price it at five to eight dollars, um, which this was five dollars, but after a discount, dollar fifty, I couldn't complain. And that is um, Grab by the Ghoulie, a rareware title. This is the first rareware title for the original Xbox. Yeah, I mean, it's the first one that they made for um, Microsoft after they got bought by them. I'm really interested to see how this game is. I hear mixed things. Like, a lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. So, I'll see how it is. And this game, I have been on the Switch for the longest fucking time. Um, actually, when I started collecting, I made a list of all the games I would like to get. And this is on there, and I finally crossed it off. And that is the bouncer for PS2. Um, $1.50. Complete... Uh, great shit with the exception of the sticker right here. Um, really happy. Can't wait to play this. It's supposed to be, I believe it's really short. Um, like I was talking to the people at Plane Train. They said it was only like two hours long. Um, but they said it's a fantastic game, so I can't wait to play this. Alright, um, yeah, these last three games here were priced at $10 each. So, um, end up paying $3 a piece after all the discounts. So, I pretty happy about that. I don't know why this. This first one, I don't know why I picked it up. Um, Leader Suit Larry, uh, Magna, Cum Laude, whatever. Um, I remember seeing, like, seeing gameplay footage of this a long time ago, and hearing that's absolutely fucking terrible, but, um, whatever. Three bucks. It goes for, like, five to ten, so. Um, this one I was happy to get, because this is another one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but I'm not willing to pay the price that many people put on it. Um, but three bucks I picked it up, and that's Dark Watch. Absolutely fan-fucking-tastic shooter made by Capcom. Um, it's developed by High Moon, who makes, like, not only makes the Transformers game. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic game. Get this if you ever see it. And this last one, much as I know nothing about the actual game itself other than it's an RPG, but um, three dollars, what the hell, I picked it up. Um, and that is Phantom Brave for PS2. Uh, with the exception of the stickers, pretty good shape. It is complete. Um, comes with the soundtrack as well. Yeah, it, it looks like someone bought it, put it in once, and then never played it again. So, yeah, should not happy to get that. So that's all the stuff from Planet Trade. For all that stuff, I paid, um, what was it, $38.97, I believe it was. So I was pretty happy with that. Alright, and, um, yeah, that was all on the morning of Black Friday. Now, for the actual, like, I waited in line at a few places. Well, actually, I waited in line for Target, but I didn't end up picking up anything. I actually went there just because a friend of mine wanted to go there. Um, so yeah, I went to Target, then I went to Best Buy, where I picked up the rest of the stuff that are in the game collection. And also, I went to Tar I not Target, Walmart, right after I went to Best Buy. And everything was fucking gone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, it, it was like 2 o'clock or something. And everything in the fucking video game section was pretty much gone. Like, all the good deals, I should say. So, that kind of sucked. But this stuff here, um, this is where I spent the majority of my money on, on this um, Best Buy. I got um, three, well, technically four things, but one of them isn't video game related. One, um, I picked up the Blu ray of uh, Wrath of the Titans. Then I picked it up for a friend of mine because he wanted it. Um, it was only like $4, so. Then, um, yeah, I picked this stuff up. I ended up spending like $257 or some bullshit like that at Best Buy, but pretty happy with what I got. So this first one was $8. I decided to pick it up just because it's pretty cheap. And that is the PS3 copy of Dead Island. Still sealed because I don't have a PS3, so. But I do plan on getting a PS3 eventually. Uh, yeah, Game of the Year edition, uh, decided to get it, what the hell, 8 bucks. Um, all my friends are saying, I mean, keep on saying that this is a fantastic game, but 
I haven't been for it yet, so. Um, and then this next one, it's pretty obvious that I was going to pick up. 35 bucks. Um, pick it up. Assassin's Creed 3. The enormous Assassin's Creed fan. Um, it's probably my favorite franchise. Maybe of all time, I believe, maybe. Um, 35 bucks. Um, this is actually my 360. I had to I pull myself away from the TV to <laughs> do this video, but this too, the multiplayer disc. Um, pretty happy to get this for 35 bucks. I thought that was a great deal. And, um, oh okay, yeah, I, I will probably be doing a video later talking about my opinions on this game. I, I'm mixed on, uh, yeah, the game as a whole. I think the graphics and everything look amazing, There's, but there's just way too many glitches. And, um, yeah, I don't like some of the changes that they made, but um, overall I am enjoying this stuff. So, uh, and the thing that I spent $200 on, um, yeah, um, <laughs> when I said I didn't have a PS3, I picked one up. <laughs> $200, well, apparently I do have a PS3. But mine is broken, so I actually have um, my PS3 actually broke like twice. Once yellow, um, the yellow light, and then the second time it just right out like it was fried. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. And to get it repaired, I might as well just buy a new one. So yeah, got a new PS3. Um, this is the Infamous and um, Uncharted double pack bundle. Um, Two hundred dollars. Uh, I was okay with paying that. Because I was gonna get this, uh, I was gonna get PS3 anyway. So, yeah, the box is fucking beat up. Because like, fucking people are fucking rude as shit in there. I mean, but um, yeah, two hundred, two hundred dollars. I was, I was happy to get that. Um, that's my Black Friday pickups. Thank you for watching.